<clears throat> All right, folks. Let's get back out there. So, my feet are back up. I uh, reloaded and unreloaded a shotgun for a little while to get my reloading up to level two. Not that we're going to do a big deal with it. Foraging was moving up pretty slowly. So I decided I would not power level that one while we were away. And then, uh, yeah, not much else changed. In terms of stats, but you might realize there's a huge stack of crates right here. I kind of made a uh, an area behind here that I can go through and just kind of stack everything. And then I sorted every single thing into these various things. So this is all the electrical stuff, like wire and whatnot. Up here we have planks. Down here we have planks, because planks are a lot of weight. Then we have door hinges and screws and door-related stuff here. Up in this box, we have anything that is like a cloth material or like fabric. So we got, you know, the denim strips and all that. And up the top, if I can click it. Clicking them is really hard. Hold on. I'll just scroll through like a third person. So the uh, top middle, we got some of the iron stuff, uh, metal related stuff. And then down here, we also have metal related, but it's full. So I had to expand up to that one. And this one, we just have the bag of concrete powder. And up here, it's kind of like the mis <clears throat> miscellaneous. Well, please. There we go. This one's kind of like miscellaneous. So it's got, you know, things like duct tape. It's got my wood glue. It's got normal glue, paper clips, boxes of paper clips, all that kind of stuff in that. All the way over here, these like boxes are all just a bunch of scrap wood. I think if we ever come across scrap wood again, we're just going to let it go because we have uh, one, two, three, four times four is 160 plus this. We almost have 200 scrap wood, so I don't think we're going to need that too bad. Then we got the tree branches and twigs in that chest down there. Moving over here, we have a, a number of open crates. So we have <clears throat> that we don't have to worry about in this one. So we have uh, plenty of room to expand. Then we have, of course, our uh, clothing and bag chest. We have over here. I switched out. This was originally the car part chest, but now we have just the basic tools and everything like that. So if I need tools, I can just come right here. That's the clothing one. This box is empty. That box is empty. That box is empty. Uh, this one is also tools like hammers, the sights, the other stuff. Just extra storage. And then we have more uh, storage there. I then went outside and I decided, hey, I'm going to put a uh, crate out here with all of our car parts in it. And that tire didn't fit, so I just plopped it on top. And then, last but not least, upstairs... I went ahead and made this little corner our weapon corner. So here we have our melee weapons. Here we have our guns. And then we have a gun case on top because I wasn't going to put a gun case just in here for no reason. I have five shotguns, y'all. <laughs> kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what I was doing the uh, intern between this. Did I hear this mousetrap go off? No? I thought I heard like a kind of a jingle thing, but maybe not. Anyway, I did some stuff with the cars here. As you can see, I, I moved these two so they're kind of pointed out this way. Um, and then <clears throat> I found a trailer. Well, I didn't find it. We, we've seen it before. Um, that's kind of where it's been. But today we're going to go and explore the police station. And uh, the police station was right down there. So we're going to go out here, take this road all the way up to that corner. Then we're going to turn down and go from there. So I spent some time. And before we actually get in there, let's open up the vehicle mechanics for the trailer. Because it is not in very good condition. So we got to be careful with it because it is a... Uh, oof. I managed to fill up the tires with a tire pump. But we need new tires, new suspension. We need to, uh, to fix the body. But in order to do that, we need to get free metal working. It's... Not great, right? And same over here. The uh, the Jeep 
has definitely seen better days, especially the, the hood and the windshield. Those have seen much better days, and the engine is starting to get pretty bad. Everything else is okay, but we really need to find a jack so we can swap tires out. Anyway, <clears throat> this lovely little trailer has 80 pounds, which is so much more than the trunk, which is great. So we will be able to pretty much loot whatever we want at this point. So let's go in and head to the police station. We'll just have to do a little bit of wider turns with the trailer here. So like I had said, <clears throat> I kind of went out here and did some stuff. So remember this corner where those two vehicles were uh, kind of smushed together? I've cleared it so I can actually go up and down the road. So I pushed them out of the way with the uh, Bronco truck and uh, <clears throat> took the trailer that was on that black vehicle and took it away so I have it now. So that'll be perfect. And then, a little bit further up here, had to kill a couple zombies, but I pushed these out of the way and uh, you can see I kind of took the windows out of that car. I, I could not take the windows out of that car for whatever reason, or I didn't have time, I forget. But anyway, that's sort of everything that I did. So I, I freed up the ability for me to, you know, go, do I go down this road or the next one? This one. Yeah, so anyway, I uh, removed some things that were obstacles to it. I want to check that panel van too. That could be a good one. Especially because I think that has a lot more storage than this vehicle. So, at some point, we want to check that out. Ooh, that one would be good too. That box truck. Just think how much storage that would have. You gotta be careful here. Don't want to hit anyone with our trailer. <clears throat> oh no. Well, shit. Let's just go ahead and cut across the road here. Find a place to go back across. Right here should work. Alright, we'll check the map. Where are we at in terms of uh, that? We're here, so yeah, a little bit further down the road. There's plenty of vehicles that look like they're fully intact almost, so. Assuming we uh, can take them apart, we should be in business to get this thing repaired. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, here's the police station. Go ahead and pull right into here. I'm gonna do a, a nice turn so that our vehicle is pointed this way and then we're gonna turn the power and get the hell out so we can start killing the zombies that are following after us. Okay. Gotta be careful about one that's back there. I don't want it to... Ah, shit. Well, there goes my weapon. Uh, one second, please. I'll just get my hammer. I'm going to use that chain link fence right there. A few too many right here. Let's go ahead and vault this. And hopefully I can kill these guys. Ah, bastard, come on. If I could even like hit their heads, that would be, that would be great. <clears throat> Alright, come on. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. I hit out, like, I get one, and then the rest of them just stagger me on me. Quit crawling at me, you bastards. I don't know how, but, like, the people who actually, like, make that a strat where they go over fences or stuff like that and kill zombies like all of them when they come over i don't know how they do it because they make it look so easy and then like i i can barely kill one
Over again, let's go. Am I swinging too early, or like, what's what's going on? Let's run away, I'm not gonna die with all my stats up. Like, I just saw a bunch of zombies in there too. I saw another one over here though, a two, three more. This might not be a wise idea, to be honest. I don't know why I like hesitated to go in there and hit that guy, but. Let's see. How is my hammer doing in terms of durability? It's pretty okay. We got a lot of people coming down. Let's see if I can lure them over here. And then I'll try to lose them so that they're all kind of collected over in this area. Come on, hit him. Ah, come on, bro. Nope. Gotta take our time. Once we start getting like cocky and being like, oh yeah, I can take them out, is the day that we're going to uh, just die. So let's not do that. I think some of them are starting to wander off. Perfect. I think if we go quick enough, we can get back to here. We can maybe take one or two of them out. Let's see if I can kill this lady first. Well, we have less people than we started with, I guess. Come on. Oh, no. Get up and run. Get up and run. Get up and run. Oh. Of course, they scratched my foot. We've got to go. With a foot injury, we, we got to go. <clears throat> We're also, what, uh, depressed and hungry, so... Yeah. Come on, officer. Go over here. I think if I just keep walking, we should be fine. I underestimated how many zombies are going to be around right here. Take a quick look back. Yep, okay. We're going to kind of go down. Down to here. And go back up. Shit. Never mind, we're just going to run to the car. I don't know why my bandage decided to just fall off. Later on, dudes. Okay. Let's bandage my foot. Oh, we've made some distance. So that way I'm safe. the engine hop out I think we should be in a relatively safe area now so I'm gonna take out my other hunting spear oh that's why my feet were getting fucked because the bandage okay yep I don't have any shoes now if I walk over anything my feet aren't gonna be happy do we have anything in this trunk 
toilet paper. That's great. Of course, the door's locked. Okay. How about we forage for a moment? Just around here, maybe we will find car keys just lying on the ground. That could be neat, right? Listen to those plaps right there. As my guy walks around without decent shoes on. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find uh, anything there. Well, this outing turned to be bad. And I don't think I can do much mechanic work here with the... Uh, Let's see, can I... Uh, I need a wrench to uninstall that, but I could do it. Oops, I don't know why I keep doing that. The trunk's already open. Alright, <clears throat> here's the plan. I'm going to kill this zombie. I'm going to take his shoes, so I at least have some foot protection. Why can't all my zombie kills just be like one hit? I win, you know? I will take that hunting knife, though. And use that if I... uh. Well, if my spear inevitably dies from killing people. That was just really bad luck on our part. Where, uh... We just sort of <laughs> died. Or we didn't die. Our, our spear just sort of boom, blew up. Okay. Uninstall this hood. I got it. Nice. Okay. Standard type hood. What we're going to do is we're going to go over here to my car. I'm going to do the same thing. We're just going to remove this hood. I'm going to install better hood. There we go. Excellent. And then this hood, I'm just going to uh, place it on the ground. <clears throat> there we go. I might as well put these boots in here since I can't really use them. Uh oh, we're also out of water. Let's see about getting a windshield as well. Got it. Nice. And my mechanics went up. Which is now at three. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright. Windshield. Uninstall. Got it. Nice. Install. Windows. 73% one. There we go. Beautiful. So now I can also just place this item down here. Excellent. I could put it back into the vehicle, the other one, but I'll bother with that. Next up is a question. Can I uninstall the window? And can I get in now? <laughs> nice. And nothing really here. No keys, so I can't really do anything else. Okay, let's just hop out. I'll replace this window. Because it gives me more experience, you know? Why not? Alright. <clears throat> so first things first... I'm going to head over to the gas station proper. Not for fuel, but because I want to check to see if they have any food again. I think we already got everything, but... If nothing else, we need water, so I can get that here. Also, I need to re-equip my spear before I forget. Or else that could be bad. Well, we can just drink some bleach. That's perfect. Yeah, I already got everything. Okay. Let's head to the sink and we'll just fill up. Alright. A 
I fill the water bottle again here. Okay. Well, that uh, <clears throat> that did not go as planned for us. Look at the map. Where else could we go? I guess we could check out that black rifle restaurant thing. Because since we are hungry, I mean, we might as well make something out of this trip. There hadn't appeared to be too many zombies around here, so. But we'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll get better. I'll try to make another spear or something. And then we can hopefully go back to the police station before today ends. I'm also going to check out that vehicle there. Got him. What you got on you? Nothing? Okay. Yeah, my sneakers are still better. Alright, I'm just going to walk because I don't want to run on these feet that are, you know, injured. Also, why don't I uh, open up foraging? We'll forage around while we move towards this. Cool, we can get in. Does it have a key in here? No. Let's go ahead and dismantle this CD player, though. I do have a lighter. I'll take that. I've got these alcohol wipes. I'm going to unbandage my foot. And then we're going to disinfect it. Oh, never mind. We're going to be fine. Don't have to. Nothing else in this one. Okay. What about the trunk? Anything back here? Just a lug wrench? Alright. And how does the condition of the vehicle look? Not bad, but not great. Engine could be better. But, uh... For now, let's just check this place out. I'm gonna start with the outside. And, uh, we're gonna grab the garbage bags. Zoom in a little bit so I can see movement better. Okay. Hello, hello. Anybody home? Look like it. Close the door after us. We aren't rude. We dismantled a bunch of stuff here for carpentry experience as well. There's an upstairs. Pool balls. I don't think I can do anything with those. Ooh, a lot of alcohol here. Another garbage bag for us. Perfect. I think these cupboards. Nope. Cigarettes, I'll take that. <clears throat> and we'll take the bourbon too. Why not? In fact, why don't we drink this bourbon real quick? It'll fix a little bit of our hunger, thirst, and unhappiness. So, since we are kind of depressed, it would be nice to have that. Now we are just depressed. Playing cards in a beer bottle. Drink it. I'm inebriated. Now, no change. Okay, good. I don't want to get too drunk, you know. I don't know why I didn't come to this place for lighters and stuff. Definitely would have been a better idea. Anyway, let's take all their alcohol. Because why not? It's our alcohol now. I'm a little bit tired, it looks like. Maybe they got a bed upstairs. We'll see. Ah, shit. Oh, come on. I'll just double-click and do that. In the backpack, please. Thank you. Let's see. Cleaning liquid. I don't care about that. Hmm. Of course, there's just more beer in the uh, in the fridge.
Okay, finally we're overweight in the backpack. What about these shelves? Red wine and a lot more wheat. Yeah. Somehow surprisingly the uh beer somehow equals hunger fixed. So I mean I'm not gonna complain, but Looks like an inn of some sort here. Check and make sure there's no one occupied here. We can sleep on a cot tonight. We don't have to worry about going back home. I don't think we're going to find anything in these. Oh, hold on. There's a little corner here. Nothing. Okay. Oh, we got a little storeroom here. Nice. Mm. Nothing that's interesting to me. Okay. I'm just gonna fill my water bottle again. That way we, uh... I guess I just filled another water bottle. Oh, I'm filling a bunch of shit. Stop it. Okay, well... Since we are pretty tired, I think uh, it might be the best option for us to sleep right now. It won't be as good as if we were to uh, be resting at home in a good quality bed, but this is better than nothing, right? Bounce the alarm quick, just in case someone's around who can hear us. Let's open up the map quick. Is there a like beer icon or anything? Not really. There's pills, but that could be used for healthcare. Hmm. I guess I can just use the uh, the food one then. Mark it down there. All right. Well, we're not bored or anything anymore for some reason. Not exactly sure how that worked out, but go ahead and just put our load into the trunk here. go. What am I still carrying? It's like 10 pounds. Hmm. Whatever. Top of the vehicle where it's safe for right now. Okay. So, the issue here Is, let's look at the spear. I wish it would tell me how much it would be under survivalist. Yeah, here. So I wish it would tell me how much like durability this thing had before I made it. Right? I gotta attach a machete to a spear. Hmm. All right. Anyway, let's look at the map real quick. I would really like to go back to the uh, police station, but. I don't think we're gonna be able to do much there. Guess we might as well take a peek, though. We're here. Go around. Everything should have come down this way, so maybe if I loop back around, like go to here, come out there. Maybe that way? I can, like, avoid them. The lights don't help. Do 
I just cut across here. What's the next one? Oh, I'm just gonna. <clears throat> I think the next area I should be able to see their parking lot here, right? Potentially, anyway. Oh, well, there's a street here, anyway. Okay, perfect. This is just like a strip mall of some sort. Offices, offices, offices. Oh, god damn it. Ooh, that looks like a better trailer than mine. But anyway, we need to get around this. <clears throat> or it might be just the same trailer, I don't know. It is way too foggy. I really don't want to do this in the fog, to be honest. You know what? Screw it. Let's get out of here. Not what I wanted to do. I forgot those cars were there. Did I? Or did I come a different way before? Either way, that did not. That was not good for my uh, vehicle here. I think last time I went across there, I had to go back in, but. I was gonna check out. Blah, blah, blah. I was gonna go check out that white panel van, but. You know, maybe it's gonna be one of those days where I'm just gonna have to run people over. me. Let's go. Got him. That lady's coming for me. We're good. I'm just going to wait for her to come to me so I don't draw any more attention to myself. Got her. I'm going to wear these shoes real quick. They're better than mine. see anyone else nearby. Let's check to see if any of these guys have anything good on them. Okay, let's zoom out one more time. Oh, look. I don't see anyone else. I'm gonna take this bulletproof vest. I think mine... Uh, could potentially break at some point. Nice to have. Revolver, nightstick. Take a holster, too. I'm just trying to keep circling to make sure that there's no one sneaking up on me, you know. Because as we all know, every single time I've died, it's been because I've been snuck up on. Check these two over here. Okay. Go to my trunk. I'm going to offload the stuff that I got. That way I can carry more. And how is the weapon doing? It's 
<clears throat> a few more hits, but fine for now. Okay, I'm gonna get in my car. I'm gonna turn it off so it's not wasting gas. Wasting gas. It only took us two tries to get back here, so. Stop that. Oh, we got this guy. Let's take him out. That was a very nice and easy hit there. That one broke through. Let's kill him. All right, they're down. Perfect. All right, I do want to check those police cruisers down there because uh, those could have something good in it. But for now, okay. Let's remove the broken glass from the uh, window here. We're just gonna go ahead and climb through it. All right. Take a look, see what we got. Let's dismantle this CD player. Hopefully we can find some guns of some sort. That would be great. Okay. We're going to scroll back up here. What do we got over here? Word search. I'll take that because I could use some of that. Oh, we got another book. I'll take books. Those always help in staving off boredom, you know. Uh, can I disassemble this computer? No? Hmm. Maybe I can if I... Nah. Oh, hey, lady. Oh, hey, person. I didn't even hear them, like, come in. I'm not sure if I know Rosewood yet. Where did I think he coming from? I could have heard him like fall through the, the goddamn. Dang, right? Hey, buddy. You wanna just go ahead and die for me quick? Thank you. There's something on the key ring. Don't know what this key's for, but I'll take it. There's going to be anything in the jail cell. Woo! Okay. Here we go. Jackpot, baby. That's what we were looking for. Just some guns and some ammo. Not that we'll be using it anytime soon, but stockpiling is always nice. We got a nice rifle and whatnot as well. Perfect. Maybe I'll leave the shotgun here. I don't really need it. But I'm a loot goblin. What else we got in these boxes? Adhesive. I still don't know what that's for, so I'm going to leave that alone. I will take this glue, however. We got some more things here. I'm probably going to leave these shotguns alone. I do not need more shotguns. I already got five at home and this is going to be a six. You know what? Yeah, I'm just going to put it away. They can all be right there for all I care. Alright. While we're in a safe space, let's uh read the Rosewood map. Okay. Is that one that I already had marked? Maybe. Can't even really tell where it's at. Was it that one over there? Possibly. Okay. Anyway. I see you there, lady. Don't worry. locker room we can dismantle some stuff from your protectors can't discard them or anything so that's not great okay and this just leads out to the back so that's everything in the police station damn i was expecting more for some reason lady 
Why are you in here? Did I search this room? Well, there's nothing here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Get the hell out of here and search those two cruisers. I'll dump what I have in the uh, trailer. Ooh, the fog lifted. Perfect. I can see better now. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Meow. Okay. I'm not going to worry too much about... Lock is broken, huh? Nice, okay, take that. Take that. Take these. I don't care about the shotgun. Can I get in this side? Might be able to just disassemble the window and reach in through it, though. <gasps> A jack! Finally! Hell yeah! gloves, huh? I'm gonna dismantle all of these real quick. Does that mean I can use this truck? What did I just get? Electrical? Ox, oh, I just assembled those, right. Other gloves? Where? I might as well wear them. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, it actually runs this one, huh? Okay. Perfect. I'll have a new vehicle. But first. Oh my god. It's the god car, y'all. Everything's green on it. Let's go ahead and we're going to uninstall the windshield. Or not the windshield, the uh, door here. I know the lock's broken, but reach through it. I saw the fucking door then. Here we goddamn. Where's my, uh. spear? Flip it. Where's the door? Yeah, let's go ahead and just drop that on the ground. Ah, dang. No, no key here. If this one had a key, that would be even better. I have to read this annotated map. Roseville, Kentucky. Creepy janitor truck should be here. Find the fence. Okay. Nothing else here. Okay. Well. Um, also, let's go ahead and just drop this uh, windshield, or not windshield, the uh, window that I picked up. We'll kill this guy, and then we'll hop in my vehicle. Get stabbed a little bit, sir. Okay. Anyone else around me right now? No. Let's hop in. And we're going to note down here... Add note. Working police car. I can just re remove that with the eraser if I have to, so that's perfect. All right. Where are we going next? Uh, let's just probably go across the street and see if we can raid something that has some food. We can eat some food here. Of course I fucking hit a tree because I'm an idiot. But... This place isn't a food place, but there are books there. Oof. 
Let's leave the car running. Spear's not gonna last much longer. Speak of the devil. Let's get in the car and leave. We're attracting way too much attention here. Nope. Anyone near the driver's side? Nope. Let's go. And away we go. Out of the way, losers. We can just roll while we're managing ourselves up okay we've had way too many close calls today and uh i don't like that um i'm gonna make a note i think there's a book icon there's not why would there be a fucking book icon i think we've already been into greens haven't we let's just head up the road for now It's a world. No, never mind. Never mind, I said. We'll keep back in the ignition. Let's go. Things are really, uh, not great up here. I wish I could look around while I was in the car so I could at least see, like, who or what's near me, right? Yeah, this is great. Let's, uh... Get home. We'll just head home for right now. If I remember which turn to take. Is it this one? Yes. Well, it's a turn to take. I mean, anything, really, as long as we're going down the right direction. I want to go one more street to the uh, south here. Yep. Nope, wrong direction. Whew. The arrow keys, like, just, I was like, oh, I want to go to the left, so I'll press, you know, A instead of pressing D, right? What was that? Anyway, I think this is our home, because I see the bodies outside. Let's go ahead and pull around here. <gasps> we made it home. God dang. Okay, so if we want to get the police car, we're going to have to make a, a walk down there to actually get it uh which isn't impossible but i do feel safer moving with a vehicle instead right okay well for now let's uh did i put anything in here i did not Charlotte. let's hop out i'm going to uh remove the bandages and disinfect my wound real quick though Now I'll bandage it back up. There we go. All right, how much am I carrying? Quite a lot. Unfortunate. 
Let's just take everything I can in the backpack. There we go. Okay. Home sweet home. All right, we can uh, put some of our stuff here. All right, so this is our metal. I think I can pour my aluminum in, or my aluminum, store my aluminum in here. Um, I don't have anything else that's what I want to put in this in this one, right? Go out in here. No, also I got another map. Okay. Well, that's that stuff. Then we have the electronics here, which I have a few electronic things. And then this one here is the tarp and the twine and our jack. Nice. I can start tearing stuff apart better here. That's going to be great. Okay. Um... And this top one, because I need to put this scrap metal away too. What else we got? We have more twine and a sack. Twine and the sack go into here. Okay. And I think a lot of the stuff we have in this one is uh, electrical stuff, because we were taking stuff apart and not really throwing it away. So the radio transceiver, radio transmitter, all that stuff can go in here. Okay, perfect. Now what do we got? I'm going to go into this top one here because we have duct tape. And we have glue. I can probably put the trash bags in here as well. Uh, the rest of this stuff needs to go into weaponry and whatnot. And then first aid thing. Okay. Let's head over here to our clothing chest. We can put my bloody surgical gloves into here. And the holsters can go into here. I already got one, to be honest. Okay, perfect. Also, I can put the, uh, the lighter in here. And we should probably eat something before I, you know, pass out or whatever. So we're just going to eat a bunch of candy. Like chips, for example. How about, uh, let's do some plonkies. That'll help me raise my unhappiness a little bit. Okay, looks fine. And then uh, I can go ahead and store, maybe put the beer and stuff in the fridge. Why not? What else am I gonna put in here? Fresh food that I don't have? All right, okay. All right, I could put the um, police bulletproof vest in there. How's my current bulletproof vest? Not the greatest. I'd rather have one that's uh, uh, fully formed and not in threat of dying like my shoes did when I was out and about, because that was not great. Let me be honest. Okay, head upstairs. We can dump off our ammo and our broken spear and our pistol. Pretty much everything except for the jack and the nightstick I want to put into here. No. Mm. That's all it can fit, huh? Okay. Gun case. I fit both of those in there? That's a yes. Nice. Put the nightstick in here, too. I'll take the machete as my new weapon. It's not going to be as ideal as having a spear that I can, like, attack from a range with, but... It'll be better than nothing. 
I'm going to put my hunting knife in here, too. All right. The first aid kit in here. And everything else goes downstairs. Well, the jack specifically goes downstairs, but, you know. There we go. We have a jack, so now we can get to the suspension and tires and stuff, which we'll probably actually do here in a moment. Everything else. Take what we can. Yep. And then everything else. Okay, that's enough. Drop the sneakers. Uh, the bullets bandolier. The bulletproof vest that's bloody I can put into there. Word search. Wrong box. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the rest of our alcohol away. Yeehaw, baby. As they say. I can put my water bottles in here. Well, the spare ones that I found. Forgot about that damn book. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just drink a red wine. That'll get my hunger and stuff. There we go. And also make me a little bit happy. Oops. Look. Can I freeze wine? I'm going to go ahead and store the empty bottle here, and then let's go ahead and fill up my water bottle while we're at it. Excellent. Now I just have this stuff. I'm going to move to the main inventory. Okay. Go ahead and put away the book. Go upstairs and store the rest of this stuff. The shotgun shells and the bullets and all that good jazz. Oh. I can fit a scope in it. Damn. I'm gonna need another box up here. Can I fit this sling in here? No. Luckily, I think we have planks and nails stored up down here. One, two, three. Don't need to grab the nails. Carpentry. Wooden crate. Right there. Okay. Excellent. Now I have another one that I can store weapons in. There we go. Okay. Put these nails back so they don't take up about a pound. Let's go grab the rest of our stuff. Which isn't too heavy, so... Bottle of wine. Just a nightstick and a couple of pistols. Okay. Well, I think we're good on guns for a little bit. Especially since we're not using them right away. Okay. Now then. The question is what I need to remove tires and stuff. Let me do a, a quick mechanics here. So 
if I wanted to uninstall this, I would need a lug wrench and a jack. For the suspension, I need to, of course, remove the tire, which makes sense, but I also just need a jack. Okay. Lug wrench. Jack. Time to pimp our ride. Or specifically the trailer. I'm just going to drive down there. Actually, but let's do it first. We're ridiculously tired and I don't want to deal with it. It might lower our ability to uh, do stuff. Sleep. Yes. Hmm. Don't like that. Let's check out why I'm sick. It's just a laceration. Hmm. Odd. I'm gonna grab a bottle of disinfectant. I'm gonna take a bandage. I'm just gonna disinfect all of these real quick. I'm gonna use a sterilized bandage here. I'm not sure why I'm sick. Did I use up the entire bottle of disinfectant? Hmm, must have. I was expecting it to say infected for some reason, but... That ain't it. We should probably have a smoke. Sick, man. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this, but dude. See how good these uh, things look. If I start noticeably losing health, I might. Oh yeah, that tire looks pretty fucking good. So does that one. Let's see. Uninstall this tire. Nice, got it. All right, let's take the suspension as well. Oh, there's no like pass or fail. It's just you get it out. Okay, that's cool. Oh fuck, that's a lot of weight. I didn't realize it was that much. Shit. I think the majority of why I was taking damage right there is because I was carrying stuff that was overweight. So that's probably not a, a big deal right there. It's a shame I had to go over here to do that. Um, i tell you what, I'm gonna... I'm gonna remove the stuff off this one first. So, tire, uninstall. Okay, let's try the other tire first. Pathing around the side doesn't, uh, he, he doesn't like it. Do I, can I do anything with this, or no? no? I'm just gonna place the tire there, then. Alright, and let's get the front right suspension off. And can I do anything with that? 
look like it, so we'll just place that down as well. Alright, let's go around the other side. Go ahead and uninstall this tire. Okay. Then we'll remove the suspension next. And again, we'll just place this down here. Okay. So what is this? Uh, 83, 89. We need just a suspension, so... 83 is that suspension. Let's see what the rest of these are. We'll just use the best ones for the trailer here. Okay. Let's see. 88, 81. Okay. We want this one next. I install this tire. I just put that in my backpack to like all shit down there. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay. go around the side here first okay so we're going to open up vehicle mechanics and then the left suspension install 88 percent the left tire 89%. Why does carrying tires hurt so much? Okay, perfect. We got a nice tire on there. And then 83 suspension. Go ahead and put that on there. Okay, and then the tire we want, I think, is the back right tire here. I believe it was a uh, 75%, so go ahead and uninstall that. Let's quickly walk down here. Vehicle mechanics this bad boy. And install the new tire. Cool. Now the only thing we have to do is the body work, which we need metal working three for, which we're not gonna get anytime soon. We need to look up how we get metal working leveled up easily. Probably as you would guess, just tearing stuff down and whatnot, but Ugh. man, that barely gave us any experience for mechanics. All that little work we did. Okay, what about the uh I guess tires on the G? How are they looking? This one looks a little bit worse for wear. That one is way bad. So uh, maybe we take that out. Place item in the... No, just, just fucking drop it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Let's also take off the other tire. Might as well while we're here, right? If it's a little bit orange, I don't like it. The other ones were much better on the other vehicles, so we can just deal with that. And then this one over here is also pretty bad. Might as well install that one as well. Damn, all those zombies I hit really just drastically murdered this hood. Okay. Also, the brakes in this look pretty bad. I'll have to remove that one. Those look fine, though. Let's see. The uh, right headlight. 
Let's remove that. And the left headlight is also kind of bad. Let's take that out. Okay. So then... Let's take this tire out so I can replace the suspension and stuff of that one. I'm just going to try to remember that that one is the one we want. Okay. So we're looking for lights, tires, suspension, and brakes. Great. Okay. Yeah, okay, perfect. The lights are great, so we'll uninstall that one and that one. Perfect. And then we've already installed those. I will well uninstall this brake. Perfect. I'm going to put that in my backpack for safekeeping. And then let's uninstall this tire. And let's head over to our car quick. I'm going to place this one right here. And I believe in the trailer we have uh, another standard brake, 89%. 89, let's grab that. I'm already carrying a tire, okay. I just need a suspension, I think. That's missing, that's missing, because I borrowed those. Uninstall that tra that transmission, that uh suspension there. Okay. So let's uninstall that. We'll uninstall that. We'll install this performance suspension. We'll install this regular brake. Perfect, both of those are glowing. And then we'll install the performance tire, 73%. Excellent. Is that tire on the ground the value yet? Yeah, it is okay. Excellent. And then over here, this is the left side. We'll go ahead and reinstall this tire here. Excellent. All right, so now we just have to worry about the back two tires, which this one, we're just replacing the tire, but this one we want to replace the brakes and the suspension. So why don't we go ahead and we'll just install the headlights quick. There we go. And then... So we will go ahead and uninstall this brake here. And I can install this 80% or 90% brake actually. Perfect. And let's take a look at the trunk here. So this is a 37%. I don't even want to deal with that. I think I'll just toss these on the ground. It's not even worth holding on to those if they're under 50, right? So we need the back two tires and I guess we can leave that there for now so we just need two tires okay we know that one doesn't have any good tires left on it let's head down to the one down here 
We can grab a couple of tires, hopefully. Oh yeah, perfect. This one has great tires. We have an 82, 89. Okay, we're taking the 82, 89 and 82 then. Put that on my backpack, please. If I can take this other tire. Uninstall. Alright. Let's run up here. Install of what? I can't install any of them? Why? What's what's going on? Is it because it's a sport type? Install. I think it might be. I don't think I can put sport tires on it. Fuck. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and pick this up. I'll put them in the trunk then. For the trailer, anyway. <laughs> Quickly before we die. Okay. We've got those two there. Fortunately, I think I'm just going to have to put on whatever tires I am able to find then. Forty-three, and that one was. Oh, that's actually a, a good one. Seventy-three, not bad. Okay, yeah, I guess I had one tire that was actually decent still, but yeah, that one, not the greatest condition. Okay. Excellent. Um, trunk lid could use a little bit of repairing, but that requires metal work one at least. Well, that one's at least not too bad. I could just remove it entirely, too. Okay, but yeah, I think we're done fiddling around with the, the vehicle for now. I'm gonna try and a nice turn here. Excuse me. All right. Now we're out. Can I reach possibly the trailer and the thing from here? I can. Nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't have enough uh, oomph for it, huh? Okay. Excellent. I think that'll be all. Let's go ahead and uh, store the lug wrench and the jack in here then. And then also put this wrench back in here. I'm going to grab that and that. Forgot about those almost. Let's see. Why, I could repair these, but I don't think it's worth repairing them at this point. I don't know, I'll just throw them in my thing here for now. Do I have any other shoes here, though? That'll look better than what I'm currently wearing? Not really. Okay. And then finally, let's go ahead and throw this spear also broken in here. Okay. All right, let's go eat and uh, go from there. You know what? Maybe I'll just have a, a nice bourbon or something. Maybe that'll help me feel less queasy. Oh yeah, it did. Let's have some chips. We'll chase those down with a chip here. Yeah, baby. And then it looks like I'm just mainly anxious, terrified for some reason, actually. Let's smoke a cigarette to help calm my nerves. Is this fucking stove off? Okay. Had to make sure. 
Then we'll fill the water bottle again. Okay. So we're we're nauseous now. Things have gone bad to worse. So let's try to sleep and hopefully that'll uh take care of some of our problem. Remove these bandages. I still have a fucking laceration. Why? Let's see, what do I have for drugs here? Reduces panic. I'll take one of those because I'm a little bit panicked here. Um, sleeping tablets, soap, vitamins. Well, I'll take some vitamins. I don't think they're going to help me right now, but why not? Let's get drugged up. Let's see, I'm still... I don't know why I'm a nervous wreck right now. Let's try to fix this before we uh, end the video, right? We're just going to go downstairs and uh, and rest. Actually, can I go upstairs and rest near the bed? That might be better than doing it down here on the floor. I just want to rest, y'all. Okay. Well, how about we, uh, we sit on the ground... And we just, uh, fast forward time a little bit. We'll just kind of, you know, rest, take it easy, as they say. I don't know what... I'm not overweight. I don't know why I'm like freaking out here. Seems like I'm hot, so why don't we strip down a bit, I guess? Unequip. Unequip. That should hopefully cool me down. I'll just unequip uh, everything that I can to get, you know, not hot. Uh, what else can I remove from like my chest area? This denim shirt. You know, why don't we get some soap and we'll uh, clean ourselves off too? That could be very helpful, especially if we're uh, 38 dirty. Yeah, that's not great. Maybe that's why I'm queasy. Fighting cold, fighting heat, insulation, skin temperature. Yeah, I don't know what's, uh, what's happening, really. I wish there was a way to, like, not feel discomfort or something, right? Let's go into the laundry room. We'll throw our wet clothing in here. Shoes in there. And we can turn the dryer on. And while that's running... What do I got that's like not just shit food? Let's cook some rice. Maybe that'll help me uh, not be just fucked. 
Let's add a little bit of pepper. And let's go ahead and we will throw that into the stove. Then we'll turn it on. sure to turn it off afterwards there we go all right so let's add some soy sauce and what else can we put in this i think we'll just eat it like it is I'm not sure why I'm nauseous still. Let's uh let's read a comic book. Maybe I'm having issues because I'm fuck. A nervous wreck too. I didn't lower it at all. Let's smoke another cigarette then. Okay. That went away. Now I'm just feeling a little bit of discomfort and I'm unpleasantly hot again. I don't know how I'm unpleasantly hot. I'm wearing next to nothing. Unless it was because I was eating something, I guess. I don't know. Still nothing in that mouse trap. Close out of here now. Do I need to dry myself off at all? No. Nope. Oops, not the dish towels. Oh. Nope. I'm just going to take all my clothes and put it in my backpack. What is happening to my guy, man? Why am I sick? That's so weird. I'm going I'm to look up uh, without anything wrong. Wait. Wait a second. I'm at another problem. Hold on. I think a laceration is one that you cannot treat normally. I think I have to have to sew it up. No, that's not the issue. I supposed to do? Let me search. What about uh, discomfort? How do I fix discomfort?
Hmm. I'm not bitten. There's nothing here I can click on to, like, treat myself. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what what is causing this. What people are saying is, yeah, you could do it from like food poisoning, or if you're eat, drinking bad water, you just have a cold if you're like coughing and sneezing. But I don't have that. Or letting a virus or a bite fester, stuff like that. But my guy literally has nothing wrong with him. I don't know why I'm sick. Also don't know why I'm discomforted and now I'm unpleasantly hot again. You know what? I'm tired of this. My guy. Unequip. 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 Go ahead and just drop um, everything I have here. Is it taking off clothing? What if I could, my friend? What if I could? I'm literally naked now, except for my watch. Why do I still look dirty? I'm gonna wash myself. See if that'll like help anything. I don't know. If I die like this, this is, like, stupid. Is it, like, console command? Or anything? Hmm? To, like, make myself not sick? Because this is ridiculous. Like, if there was a reason for it, I'd be like, Oh, okay, I got bitten and I'm dying. But... What? It went to it. I have no idea what's what's happening here. Like I'm not infected. I'm a little anxious, I guess, but... Where's my fucking jujubes and stuff? Eat some gummy bears. Calm yourself down. I'm 
I'm still unpleasantly hot. Can I just go outside and like stand in the rain? This ain't gonna be how we die, come on. I get in my car so I'm like seated. Would that fix the discomfort at all? Hold on a second, Zomboid. Can't tell why I'm discomforted. Comfort is the first stage of injury. Doesn't mean that you've been damaged. That means your total health bar is not full. Personally, I turn infection to saliva only, so you know you're going to turn it just by a type of wound. Like, did I get infected from that? Hold on. How to tell if you're infected? Fatigue, nausea, melancholy, sick, worry, heat flashes are common kind of symptoms of zombie infection. Doesn't show up for a variety of reasons. Best way to tell if you're infected is that a short while after being infected, injured by a zombie, your character will become queasy and anxious. But I did. It wasn't a short time after. We were literally just down here doing stuff. Hmm. Well, this just ain't fun. Uh, let's see. Shout is Q. Debug. Lula debugger. F11. N is just God mode? Also, I typed that, but I didn't do anything. Oop. F11 doesn't do anything. Seems as though I can't do debugging stuff, which is stupid. I wish I could just cure this illness while I put a snap my fingers. <gasps> I'm no longer too hot or whatever. Still fucking injured for some reason. Okay, now I uh, went inside and now I'm too hot again. Okay, we're going to end this video here. I'm going to look up some stuff to figure out why exactly this is happening. But, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens. If I die, I die, and, you know, if that happens, we'll start a new character. I'm not going to fucking deal with skill books anymore, though. That's just annoying. But, uh, until then, bye-bye.